Do you ever pour yourself a bourbon, swirl it around, and then start struggling to come up with tasting notes? And perhaps you're also looking for a good Father's Day gift idea. Well, you can now solve both with a kit from Nose Your Bourbon. And unlike other nosing kits on the market, Nose Your Bourbon kits feature real ingredients for the most authentic aromas. You can smell real Tahitian vanilla bean instead of some synthetic aroma that's just made from chemicals. So head on over to NoseYourBourbon.com and enter code BP10 for 10% off your order. Welcome, everybody. We're back with another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're looking at Ben Holiday Bourbon. This is one that comes out of Missouri, and it's a true Missouri bourbon. So here's a little bit of the background because it deserves a little bit of the history. Uh, not a Missouri bourbon made in Indiana? <laughs> exactly. It is a true Missouri bourbon. Gotcha. I've seen a lot of those state bourbons that are... Mm -hmm. But anyhow, way to go, Ben. <laughs> we'll talk more about Ben here. So Holiday Distillery is in Western Missouri, and it's considered Missouri's oldest distillery that was founded back in 1856 and has been American-owned for 166 years. Now, of course, it went away at some point, and then this is a revitalization a few years later. Uh, but they do say that the limestone springs on the property were first charted by Lewis and Clark in 1804. However, for this, this is a six-year-old bottled and bond handcrafted small batch real Missouri bourbon. It's aged in seven-story ironclad rickhouses rarely found outside of Kentucky, and it's made in the original still house that has been now renovated using the original mash bill, using a column still, a doubler, and a two-grain cooker system. So again, six years old, bottle of bond, so it's 100 proof. Currently only available in Missouri and Kansas and has a retail price of $60. Does it say what town is it in? Or Weston, 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 Missouri. Huh, not familiar with that, but Missouri is the gateway to the West. And yeah. Yeah, you're right. So yeah. I was about to say, you know, pull up a, an arch or something like that and make, it, make your way through there. Yeah, well, let's see what this is. Missouri bourbon's all about. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a... A true, true Missouri? It's, I don't know. I mean, you could say a lot of whatever kind of state bourbon, but you're right. They usually say distilled in Indiana on the back of it. But here we go. On with the nose. Yeah, it's quite pleasant. Mm -hmm. There's some nice fruit. Almost like a... It's cherry, but brighter than that. It's a little brighter. It's like a lemony, cherry, lime cherry thing coming out. I, I was almost saying it's like a, like a Kool-Aid packet. Yeah. It's kind of what it's you get out of it. Imitation a fruit. Yeah, something like that. A little bit of sugary. Manufactured fruit. And there's a little bit of like a medicinal note on the nose, but. Yeah, slightly, but not like Tussin no, or anything. Exactly. No, okay. no Tussin. I'm with the note, or I'm with the taste here. Or some grape flavors, that like Kool-Aid packet, Crystal Light packet, mm -hmm. kind of on the front end. But then it does kind of go into that medicinal kind of taste where, you, you know, like cherry, like syrupy, uh, cough syrup kind of right. note. Um, so a lot of, you know, grapefruit on it, but it kind of does open up that medicinal. And you know, they think it has some other good qualities about it. I mean, you get a decent amount of oak influence. Yeah. Um, there's definitely those typical leather, a uh, little bit of nuttiness, I guess you could say to it as well, that kind of, you would think, like if you were to say like, oh, hey, Kenny, this is another Kentucky bourbon, I'd be like, yep, sure is. Like, there's nothing that you would say like, no, is, is like completely like off the rails. You'd be like, oh my gosh, like, what are they It's thinking? very solid. It's yes. got some, you know, it's got all the check marks on the wheel. There's, mm -hmm. you know, there's a little hint of this ever. There's nothing like, ex you know, that's one way or the other. It's just kind of dab in in every little category. I Agree with that. So let's go ahead and we'll rate it. So on the nose, where are you at here? Thumbs up. I like the nose. Yep. And the taste. Thumbs up. I was pleasantly surprised yeah. with it. I know. You see real Missouri <laughs> bourbon, you're like, oh no, what we got, what we got going on here, here. And the finish. Uh, I'm like between sideways and thumbs up. There's that slight like cough syrup note mm -hmm. that kind of lingers, but there's still some nice spiciness, some nutmeg, bite baking spices. But uh, I'll go... Sideways three quarters. <laughs> Sorry, make it confusing, but uh, very well done for uh, my first Missouri bourbon. So good job. There we go. Uh, so that is our review of Ben Holiday's six year old bottled and bond bourbon. Cheers, everybody. Stay tuned. We'll be back again with another whiskey quickie. <laughs> 